What's up guys, it's The Pacifist. We are back here with another video. Today's video is going to be showing you everything that you need to know about Lab. So without further ado, let's hop right into it, shall we? All right, guys, so we're loading in here, and first things first, what you're, what you're going to want to do when going into labs, if you do not have painkillers, you absolutely have painkillers. As soon as I load in, I pop my golden star, and the reason why I do that, this one in particular lasts 400 seconds. It gives you a little bit of hydration and a little bit of energy at the same time. You're going to see that start to go up. Okay, I double check, make sure I'm on full auto, make sure that I have the right thing right here. Now, we spawn down below. We're right below red room, okay? Okay. Um, now, in order to learn this map, you really have to just run around it. What I like to do, and the reason why I like to do this, first things first, is uh, over here there's a button. I'm not going to press it now, but this button right here, this turns on the elevator. Okay, that turns on the elevator, and in order to extract, you have to be able to turn that button on. Otherwise, this elevator over here is not going to be available to you, right? This is uh, extract elevator, uh, main elevator, so exfil 2. This is the one that I take the most simply because the button's right there. You run over here, you can press the button, call the elevator, and get out. I'm not going to push the button yet. I will push the button, but not yet. I want to show you guys around the map first. So we are down below. We're below Red Room. This is called Two-Way Street down here, okay? I call it Two-Way Street because it's got two sides, and they both kind of go the same way. The underground connects to the opposite side of the map where you have blue room, you have black room, and then you have green room as well. Green and black. Um, black is the first floor. Green is above it. And then blue is on the first floor as well, but it's down the hall. And I'll show you guys once we get over there. Um, the underground can get a bit confusing. If you don't know the general direction that you're running in, you're, you're more than likely going to make a wrong turn and then uh, end up in a, in a place that maybe you didn't want to be. But this is the way that I like to go. I go up here. Okay, this is kind of a, a no man's land out here. I don't really uh, wander out into this area too much. There's nothing really over here. One thing to note though, is there's a player spawn right up there. I'm gonna walk up there right now so you can see exactly where that's at. So let's say you spawn downstairs. You're coming up these wooden stairs right here. First thing you want to do is check over here because the player spawns exactly where I'm standing, right? You're going to spawn right here. Another player spawn is down the hallway over there. Um, but I'm going to show you Red Room, okay? Red Room requires the red key card. This is a, a, a common camping area. People like to come in here, close the door, um, especially if the button has pressed. Now, one thing to note, raiders do not spawn immediately right raiders do not spawn until a button has been pressed and they usually spawn in that corresponding area so the button down below that i showed you initially when that button's pressed they tend to spawn raiders tend to spawn downstairs okay so this is red room a couple spawns in here i believe green key card spawns on this shelf you also have intel that spawns right here there's not a whole lot else in this room. You got a couple of med spawns right here. This is violet key card in here. I do not have that key. I don't bother with it because for me, the loot's not that great. But this is red key card. Once you do get red key card, uh, you've either farmed it or you've saved up enough. I think it's 20 mil on the flea market. Uh, you need a lab key arsenal room <clears throat> in order to get in to here. So you need the red key card just to get into this room. And then you need the arsenal key, which only goes for about 100k. To unlock into here and then this is kind of where this is kind of where i start my runs right i grab my my loots in here the fat loots hats teapots figure out what else i want survival kit goes for 35k we're gonna jump right here um and i like to double check make sure i didn't miss anything you kind of just tap f on a bunch of these jump on top sometimes there's something called a pro kill which uh, goes for about 100 and 135k okay so i checked those uh, various attachments spawn on top of this box. Some worth a lot, some not so much. So I'm just kind of looking and taking what I think will be worth money. So we take the, the Rolex, we're going to put that in there, put this in here, and then we're moving on. I'm gonna put that in there as well. Uh, you can search this crate real quick just to see. These crates tend to have some pretty good loot. Um, so that laser sight, I might take it if I had another gun to put it on, or I would take it in general. 
and then search the duffel bag, and then we're up and out of here. Okay, that's kitchen area. Very common path for players to move through. Uh, another player spawn is down there. Right? Down there, below red room. They can spawn out right there in the open. Uh, this is what I call cat. You've got VPX spawns right here. You've got a lead X spawn, vertex spawn, uh, various high ticket items. The lead X alone is a mill. You've got various items around here. Like that. You got a gold chain. There might be some cash. There might be a couple other things. Okay, that's about it for that. Don't check that initially. Do not sprint to that spot because more than likely there's going to be other players running around here. And they're going to be taking you out. This is another button that you can press. Once you press this button, it opens up the gates over there. Um, this is a button that's not always available. Okay, you can come in here. If it's if it's like this where it says open the gates, then you can press it and it's going to open those gates. An extract becomes available through the garage, which I'll show you eventually. But it also spawns, I think, like six raiders. So once you press this button, get ready for a fight. Okay, coming down here through these doors on the side this is another player spawn players can spawn in like on these stairs down below so that's why i said when i spawn i spawned on the opposite side in that direction right so i come out this door turn left down below that's where i spawned so a lot of players like to spawn right here and they can come right up in here and press the button okay um out here on this open area which is below cat is a uh, kind of a dead zone don't really want to go in there because you can get shot from above. You can get shot from every which angle. So you, I, I tend to avoid that. Um, what I like to do is I come from red over here. So after I loot red, I run back down these wooden stairs. We can come in here. And there's a safe in here. I like to check that. You never know. You could get some good things. Uh, in this case, it's a horse. Horses are 9K. That's garbage. Uh, check the duffel bag just because... Duffel bags, if you play Fortnite, duffel bags are kind of like chests, right? They can have, they can spawn any, any item in the game. Um, it's completely random loot. Okay, so I'll check that. I'm checking around here, and then we'll run down this way and show you a couple of the other spawns. Okay, on this, what do we call it? Like a stack of servers. It can spawn back in there, on there. We got VPX spawns. Uh, we've got vertex spawns, and then you got also a graphics card spawn right here. So it's kind of like a, uh, just heard a voice. That means raider spawn. So like I said before, even though I didn't press any buttons, raiders do spawn eventually. Okay, so we're going to come in here, the auditorium. There's another vertex spawn right here. You got an MP5 spawn that's around here. Never seen it. There's supposedly a gun spawn in here. Then another, another vertex spawn on here on the desk <clears throat> uh sorry if there's a little bit of a break in the video but i ran into issues while recording uh the previous session and i had to restart it there was too many raiders that spawned i didn't die but i didn't want this video to be super long i just want you guys to learn and then we can teach you guys how to fight raiders on different maps okay we're gonna go back into the kitchen uh i think there is a purple key card that's there's a couple keys that spawn on this desk, okay, right above, right across from Cat. Okay, we're going to run back out here. We're going to run to the Lead X area. Lead X. Everybody's heard of Lead X's, right? Originally, this is the only spawn for Lead X's out in this area, but we're going to run over here to this desk. Uh, we've got some military modules that can spawn right here, 100k. There's intelligence that can spawn right there on that desk. Um, and then we go over here to what's called the cage, where you've got fuel conditioners. That's 90k right there. Take that, Dunsky Dunsky. Okay. Uh, these stairs right here is where another player can spawn. Players tend to spawn right here where I'm standing. Okay, they can spawn down in this open area. We call this God Spawn. If you get this spawn, this is the only time, the only time, let me say that again, the only time you should be coming out into this area 
right off the rip, okay? If you're sprinting to this area, trying to get that lead egg spawn, you are not going to make it there because somebody else would have spawned right here and they'll be camping it. Uh, on these boxes, there's another Vertex spawn that, that spawns right here, Vertex VPX. So check on these boxes. Okay, we got another one that's over here on these boxes. And that's going to be coming into Lead X. Okay, black key card spawns on this desk. You also have a, a Vertex spawn right here. Um, intelligence spawns on this desk as well. And then there's three Lead X spawns. There should be one on the barrel, one right here. And I think there's another one on these barrels. But you just want to give all these barrels a, a nice little glance. You're looking for a little black item. Uh, and unfortunately, this time we're not seeing any, so I don't really get to show you. But this is kind of the main Lead X tent. Okay. So coming through here, we've got more. We've got a DVD player, so there's another electronic spawn. We've got another Vertex spawn, VPX spawn on this desk. Um, another one on this desk as well. It's worth just taking a quick glance at these at these uh, these work tables. Um, electronic spawn on these boxes. You've got intelligence and stuff that can spawn up on this shelf. Money right there. Uh, more med spawns right here. There's a weapon spawn in there. Okay. We're going to run back over here. Now this is again, just to give you some reference, this is cat. Okay, that I showed you earlier. Then that's lead X. This is the second floor of the main area. Very, very high area. High, high, uh, high visibility area, right? So if you're running down here, there's a lot of angles that you can get shot from. We're going to come back here behind this desk, I believe. There's some other items that are lootable back here. My, uh, my detection, my detection's going crazy, saying that there's something right here, but I don't know where it's at. Either way, uh, I believe there's intelligence right here. Yellow key card spawns inside here on this desk. Nothing this time. And then for this area, this is another area you're rarely going to go to because raiders, there is no penetration uh, penalty for them, right? They will shoot you through this glass. This, this glass is somewhat bulletproof. M995 will penetrate through it. Other bullets will penetrate through it. But you, you're you somewhat shielded uh, against players. However, against raiders, they will beam you. So if raiders have spawned, you should not be going in here. Um, To get into this office area, you need the lab key for the manager's office. To unlock it, it's worth doing. Let's say you cleared out labs. You're not completely full yet. You want to come in here. You've got a lion spawn. You got a chicken spawn. I call it the golden cack. Um, then you got a safe as well that you can search. A couple computers. But this is nice, quick, fast loot. Okay, we're going to come back down. I'm going to head over here to the second floor. Uh, this is another area that I rarely loot. Uh, simply because it's such high visibility and it's glass, so there's no protection. In order to get in here, you have to shoot glass. You have to shoot one of the uh, one of the windows. So as soon as you come in here as well, people are going to know. But, I mean, there is some various items in here that you can get. There's milk. There's computers you can check. Um, on these shelves, you've got gold spawns as well. Like, you know, you got chains, horses, that sort of thing. There's key spawn right here. Um, another safe. On these shelves, cigarettes, if you still need cigarettes for your uh, your tasks. Labs is actually fantastic for getting cigarettes if you need those. Then more gold spawns on these shelves. And then the offices, there's two of them. Right across the hall is essentially the same exact thing. It's just mirrored, right? So we got another office here. It's not going to let me go through that. Another office in here. Same thing, slightly different layout, but the uh, the principle is still the same. Cigarettes on the shelves. You've got gold loot spawns that can spawn on these shelves. Could be anything: gold chains, horses, lions, chickens, whatever. Okay, that's basically it for the offices. Now we're going to head on over to... I'm going to show you green. I don't have the key for it. I could buy it, but I don't really bother with it. Uh, green has a lead X spawn. Uh, this is on the second floor. So just to give you an idea, uh, we got lead X over there. That's the manager's office we were just in. So you run back here. 
And this is green key card, right? A lot of med spawns inside there. So it's 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 worth picking up if you got the money. Okay, we're gonna run over here. This is server room. Uh, basically useless, right? There's no loot inside there. There's pretty much nothing you can loot in here. This is just a an area that players like to camp sometimes. There are a couple of key spawns on these chairs. Never seen them. Supposedly they're there. Um, some rare keys. We're going to run over here. I'm going to show you another player spawn real quick. I'm going to try and wrap up this video as soon as we can. Okay. So this is a another player spawn. You spawn right here, right where I'm standing. Okay. This is actually... if, if This is one of my preferred spawns, and I'll tell you why here in a second. Okay, so you pop your painkillers. You run up here. And then you got a lead X spawn right on this desk. So right off the rip, you could potentially get a lead X right there. Um, various attachments around, like a suppressor were taken, some ammo, but that's about it. I think there's another key spawn right here. I don't remember exactly which key weapons case that you can loot. I'll run down here into, we're now on the first floor, and I'm going to show you black room, which is nice if you need a little bit of extra cash. Okay. So directly above us is green. Out to my left is lead X. And before I show you that, I did want to show you one other small area. One other small area over here. This is like a little side room right next to lead X. So let's say you just grab lead X because you got the alpha spawn. You want to run in here, grab a couple meds. Um, there's various injectors that you can grab in here. Like that. Little spawns here and there. And then you run over to black. Because you never want to stay out in this open area too long. Let me just say again. Before I show you black, I'll show you one more thing. I never loot this. I have the key for it. But I don't bother looting it. Because it's kind of out in the open. And you don't really get much from it. This room right here requires the, uh, the testing area. Lab key testing area. Okay. So, you've, again, you've got attachments. Uh, you've got a non-kitted M4. Occasionally, a kitted M4 can spawn here on the table um, with decent attachments. But for the most part, the only thing you're going to take from... You're not going to... You're not coming in here to get a, uh, a semi-kitted M4. You're trying to... You're trying to kill players. You're trying to kill raiders and make some money, right? That's that's the idea. That is the ideal. Sugar as well. There's a lot of sugar spawns on this map. Those are always worth taking. Okay, so now we run over to black. Okay, we'll walk up in here. Black is basically only injectors, right? And they usually spawn on the ground, on the chair. We're just looking around for a couple injectors. There's one right there. And then a couple in here. <clears throat> But that's basically it. That's all you get. This is just a quick scoot, loot and scoot sort of thing. And then the last room that I'm going to show you before I show you the remaining extracts are is Blue Room. Blue Room has the last lead X spawn. Um, again, there's one out in the open area that I showed you in that tent. There's one in green, which I have yet to see. And then down here at the end of the hall, at the end of the hall down there is server room. Okay. This is blue key card spawn. You got more meds in here. Some H2O2. Various med spawns that can spawn in here. Then we've got blue for this one. Okay, I'm going to show you the lead X spawn first. Spawns on one of these two shelves right here. And when I've seen it, it spawns right there. Okay, then again, we're looking for more injectors. We're looking for IFAX. Don't really care about that. Gold Stars. Excuse me. Gold Star is a fantastic pickup. See it every now and then. Adrenaline, IFAX, sure. Another injector. 
Med bags you can search if you want to, but I don't really bother with them. Okay, in and out. Okay, that's... That's basically it for labs. Okay? I know I say that's basically it. But that is basically it when it comes to, uh, you know, this entire area. The last the last area I'm going to show you is downstairs. Um, I'm not going to walk you through all the tunnels because they get very confusing. Um, the, the main thing that I want to give you is orientation. Like, figure out which direction you're facing and where you're trying to go. Let's say you're trying to go to Red Room, which is that direction. So if you're downstairs, you just want to keep that in mind that you're trying to get over there. Okay, I'm going to show you the other garages because there's there's two garages. So I'm going to show you the other one. This is a drop down, which is where I'm going to come here in a second. I'm going to run up here. Second floor server room. We're coming back here out on the balcony. That's the testing area that we just opened. Manager's office. We got kitchen doors right there. Okay, and then this is another garage area that you can uh, press a button. This is one that's not always available. You press the button, open the gates. Raiders spawn as well here. Not as many raiders, but there's still raiders that spawn. Show you real quick. And then once the gate opens, you can get out through those doors. Okay? You run up there and you can extract. So around on the balcony... Uh, again, I don't really bother with it, but there's various attachments. Weapon attachment spawns, whatever. We're going to run back into server room. We're going to drop down here. There is a way to do this without breaking your legs, but nine times out of ten, you are going to break your legs. You come here on this side. You drop down. So you hit that. As long as you hit that on the way down and it registers, you don't break your legs. But more than more likely, you're going to break your legs. So we turn on the elevator. Okay, this is the elevator that's going to turn, or that's the button that's going to turn on this elevator over here. And this is the, uh, this is one of the underground tunnels. That connects to two-way street, which I showed you earlier. So the button that I just pressed turns on this elevator. This is a very common extract. People love to extract out right here. It's really, you just press the button, chill here, wait for a second, and then you're in and out. Uh, this is the stairs. You can get up to the second first floor and then this button over here which is what we're going to extract out with Hush! I rarely take this extract I don't like taking it but it is an option okay let's say you press both buttons you're you're up and around you're fighting Come up here. Go up to the second floor. Then you got this elevator right here. This is the cargo elevator. So the last button that I just pressed, the elevator, this button. And then you got you got some bathrooms over here. Not really anything in there. And then this is just kind of a med area. There's not a whole lot going on in here. Just various meds, bonds, saluas, whatever. And we're out. That's it for me, guys. If you got any questions, anything else that you want to see, the next video we're going to be doing is I'm going to be running through labs. It's going to be a live run, so I'm going to be fighting players, fighting raiders, and explaining everything that I'm doing. Um, but if there's anything specifically else that you guys want to see, let me know down in the comments below. Leave a like on this video if you liked it. Tell me why you didn't like it if you didn't. And uh, hit that subscribe button. really helped me out a lot, guys. Uh, until next time, peace out.